Proverbs 24 to 10 KJV If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. It has always be said that no dog can defeat a lion, except it wants to be eaten as snack. But I say to you today, if the fighting spirit inside the dog is bigger than that of the lion, the lion will be totally disarmed and destroyed. One Samuel seventeen to four, ten, eleven, thirty two, thirty seven, forty five, forty seven, fifty one KJV, and there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span dot, and the Philistines said, I defy the armies of Israel this day, give me a man, that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Therefore David ran, and stood upon the Philistine, and took his sword, and drew it out of the sheath thereof, and slew him, and cut off his head therewith, and when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. David was a midget compared to Goliath, yet he overcame and killed him because of the power that had his back in my primary school days. I could virtually challenge anybody. Because I had a senior brother who was two years ahead and fight my battles for me. Today, God fights all my battles on my behalf and I hold my peace. How about you? Enjoy your presence in his presence, yet addendum kindly press the middle paragraph twice it will stop for you to read after reading press once it will continue to the next page and repeat saying till you finish reading thanks.